hello guys i hope you are doing good in this video we'll solve a javascript question it is another variation of curry problem so here we are given a function sum that function accepts a number as a argument if the number is not passed it will return the sum of the total previous calls so and if number is passed it will return another function and that function can also accept a number and so on so if the return function accepts a number it will again return another function that will accept a number and if nothing is passed so let's say if undef uh, if nothing is passed then the value is blank or undefined then it will return the sum of the previous values so here if you see the total would be 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 so total should be 100 and if you are invoking it without any number for the base call so here the total should be zero because nothing is passed so let's solve this problem let's implement the sum function let's create a function sum so the base function will receive a number so here it can either receive the number as like this a single argument or it can have multiple arguments as well so that's why here I am segregating the inputs using the rest operator and I am getting an array out of that. Now let's create a variable to store these inputs. Now the base case is if no argument is passed to the function then it should return 0. So let's handle that. If storage or not storage if args dot length equals to zero so if nothing is passed the rest operator returns an empty array so if we are not receiving any number as an argument we will return zero otherwise we will return a function and that return function can also accept arguments so let's create a temporary function now this function two can return multiple arguments so let's say 20 can return 20 20 like that so on so that's why i am again using rest operator here to get the array of arguments and we will push that in the storage so here what i am doing is i am just collecting all the inputs in in the form of array so here in the uh, i'm pushing the second arguments list to the original one and here these three dots work as a spread operator and here this three dot works as a rest operator so the, here they uh, accumulate in the form of an array and here they spread it as an individual array as an individual value in the array now here too we add a base condition where we check if this arcs to length is zero that means if the return function has not received anything and is invoked empty so we will what we will do is we will return sum of the all the previous value so storage dot reduce so reduce is a accumulator or a reducer method on javascript array i will be creating a detailed video on this this is a very powerful javascript method and is widely used so here we will just sum with the default value of zero so this will return us the sum of the all the previous list else if the list is not empty we will return this function in the same call so it will be recursively returning itself if uh, the uh, if it is receiving a number as a input every time otherwise it will just return the total or the sum and finally will return the temp once from the main function so here if you see if i run this so i am getting 100 as a output now let's add another value over here so it should return 110 now if i add another value over here so it should return 140 
so this is working completely fine let's check the base case if i am passing nothing it should return zero so our case is working perfectly fine now we can have any amount of functions over here there is no limit for that the only final call is if we are passing no arguments in the call then it will return the total sum so let's say if i add 50 again over here it will return 190 so see 190 is written so our question uh, sorry our implementation is working fine as ex expected thank you for your time